Howdy folks, I'm Garrett and this is You've Got This. Today we are going to talk about sockets, specifically about socket parts and the various pieces as we dive into the pros and cons of different suspension systems in future episodes. It'll be nice to uh, kind of understand what goes into it all, how it fits together and why. Uh, so the first thing is uh, your liner. So there are countless different types of liners. Um, some of them have different levels of rubber padding. Um, they're all some kind of rubber um, on the inside, uh, sometimes on the outside as well. Uh, I don't have any of those down here. Um, and then fabric on the outside so that clothes and stuff can move over it. Um, sorry. The fabric is more on these so clothes can move over it. We'll get to that. Um, so anyways, they're rubber, uh, different kinds of rubber. Some will have more padding on like your shin area or areas that are sensitive. Um, some um, are just straight up different. They use different rubber um, that'll either be antibacterial or uh, help with sweat and just a bunch of different types to help control um, sweat, temperature, uh, comfort, whatever. Um, this was some of my first ones. Um, and this one, it's thicker in the front than the back because the front is where you're carrying more load and have more sensitive, like your shin bone and that kind of thing. Um, so that is your liner that goes on your residual limb. And then you have, let's see here, we'll go to the sockets. Um, your socket is obviously what goes on your leg. Um, and these vary. And you'll generally have an inner socket. Uh, in this case, this one's kind of fixed. Uh, it's thin, it's a little more pliable. And then you've got your outer socket, which is the carbon fiber. Um, in this one, the inner socket's a little thicker. Uh, it gives your prosthetist more to work with if they need to like carve out a spot that uh, is uncomfortable. This may not come out, maybe in there too good. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so you'll have your inner socket and your outer socket. Uh, and so this gives your prosthetist something to play with, a little extra room, uh, flexibility. And that said, it's not totally necessary. My new socket doesn't have an inner socket. And if you look at how thick this is, uh, it reduces the width a lot. Uh, it's a lot less bulk. And the measurements I took on one of my more recent sockets versus my new one, uh, with the liner and everything, it's almost half an inch thinner from side to side, uh, which when you're putting on pants and that kind of thing, it really starts to make a huge, huge, huge difference. Um, sockets, liners, sleeves. Uh, not every system has sleeves. Uh, but the sleeves will go over um, the socket and your upper part, and it gives you a seal, uh, a suction seal, if you remember from uh, the previous episode. And so the sleeves are important. Um, the most common issue with the sleeves is they rub on this part of the socket and they eventually get holes in them. Um, there's not a lot of ways around that. Um, I'll show you my uh, more recent socket, what I've done. Um, so this is kind of the whole package here. This is now my more durable leg that I'm not worried about getting beat up because it's um, kind of built like a tank and it's just a, a solid leg. So you've got your liner. Um, over the course of a day, your leg size changes and that's where socks come in. Um, anytime I'm using one of my old sockets, I have to wear a lot of socks because my leg has gotten smaller and smaller. Um, through the muscle atrophying or whatever. And so the socks help fill in that space as your leg changes sizes. Um, one to 20 ply, depending on um, kind of, everybody has different preferences. The socks make it softer, but soft means you have, uh, you know, less direct connection. So it's kind of a downside. Um, again, here's another type of uh, inner socket. Uh, this one's a lot softer, more flexible. Um, 
And what I've done is I actually had these kind of sleeves from an older system and I put them on and then when I roll this up, it gives me an extra layer to help protect the sleeve so that the sleeve is less likely to get holes in it. Now, the way it works down on the bottom is I have used electrical tape to secure that sleeve um, around the socket. And so that gives my um, sleeves kind of an extra layer of protection um, and makes these more durable. And so that's kind of it. Um, that's all the various types. So next week we will dive into more of the subtle details and the pros and cons of each of these types of systems, um, how it works and really break down what might be the factors you want to consider as you're evaluating what kind of suspension system you want on your next leg. Anyways, that's it for this week. I'm Garrett and you've got this.